everybody. I'm just going to do a short little video. I'm going to do a bloom for you today with some purples. Black cell activator. So my colors are going to be, this is um, Amsterdam Permanent Red Violet. Yep, permanent red violet. There's so many names on here. Yep, permanent red violet. Then I have uh, Amethyst by DecoArt, Extreme Sheen. Lavender Frost, Extreme Sheen. And what's this one here? Um, oh, and sorry, my gold, my Liquitex Basics Gold. I'm using black cell activator today, which is um, oxide black and which is Amsterdam with the Australian Floetrol. My pouring medium recipe is in the description below the video. And when I mix my pouring medium and my colors, I do two pouring medium to one paint, and then I squirt a little bit of Josania varnish in it if it seems thick. I didn't with the metallics because they're a thinner paint, but the tube paint I did. Just show you this. See how thicker, much thicker that is? And then this runs off the stick really well. That's what I like. So I'm going to add a little bit of water to this one. I guess I could have added some uh, more Josonia, but I already did. So a little bit of water doesn't hurt. Just a little bit, just to give it a little thinner down. See, it runs better. Tinch more. All right, so if I use black cell activator, I want a lighter color on top. So I think I'll go like this. my base. It's just an um, eggshell. White house paint. There's nothing added to this. Little air bubbles in there. When you're buying your paint in a big can from the store, don't get them to shake it. Stir it when you get home, gently, because it'll get a million air bubbles in it. You don't have to wait forever. Probably put too much on here, but. It's always good to do it the night, day before. I did, with my blue ones, I Mixed it the night before and did it the next day. The paints are smoother, less air bubbles. But I wanted to do one now, so these might have some air bubbles. Just give it a bang. All right, let's try this. That's a really pretty color.
I think I'm in a bloom mood today. I've done a few today and yesterday. It's not very centered, is it? one. So I'll do this next. Try to use transparent or semi-transparent colors. If you do use an opaque color, I would put it on top of the white first. Lavender on top. That red violet is is more like a reddy purple. Oh no. Black, Oxide Black by Amsterdam. And Australian Floatrol. Just gonna blow with my straw. if I have it up higher I get a better shot at it. Wow! <clears throat> stretch it. Oh well. Wait till the center is level when you'll be able to move it properly. Okay. 
going to stretch it over the side a bit. That'll stretch the cells. See if I can get all the white off this time. Last little bit of weight off. There. Look at that. It's awesome. my finger underneath here. There we go. Let's break these in. it up for you. So some of the pink did come through once you start to stretch it. Some of the underneath color, the bottom color, you can see there in the middle. Pretty, very pretty. Wow, my blooms are working well lately. Well, thanks for coming by. And uh, I'll put the dried result at the end come back soon to Carol's art room and uh, see some more great blooms or whatever I decide to do that day. Hit the bell for notifications so you won't miss another one. Have a blessed, great, amazing day and stay safe. Bye-bye. Hi everybody. Here's my dried results. Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Those colors. Oh, the magenta is peeking through. Awesome results. I love it. Beautiful lacing. Thanks for watching. Come back soon to Carol's art room. Bye-bye.